Hi everyone and thank you for joining us for this Enscape webinar. Great to have you with us. My name is Gemma De Silva and I'm part of the Enscape team. Today's topic is changing the way we visualize design, which is one of our sessions for Autodesk University this year. And as one of the global sponsors for AU, you can find Enscape in a number of different talks, which we're particularly excited about. And I'd encourage you to visit our virtual AU booth to learn more about those and to have access to a few extra videos and downloads. So I'll chat out a link to that shortly so that you have it to hand. So right now I'm joined by one of my colleagues, Dan Monaghan, who is head of sales and channel for the Americas. Dan is going to take us through a short presentation and demo which will dive into how visualization has changed and evolved in recent years and will also introduce our real-time rendering tool Enscape and how this works with Revit. Um, Dan's also going to show our latest release video which I hope you will love as much as we do. We're really happy with how it turned out so please make sure you stay tuned for that. And finally we'll have a short Q&A at the end of the presentation so if you do have any questions, please feel free to pop them into the questions pane and we'll get to those at the end of the webinar. So with that all said, let's dive into the presentation and get started. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you, Gemma. Um, I hope you all are enjoying this year's Autodesk University and thank you for tuning into today's presentation. I'm super excited to take the next 30 minutes or so and introduce you to Enscape and how real-time 3D is improving today's BIM process. Um, the problem we have with visualization is that traditionally visual representation has always been the cornerstone of the design practice. However, it's also been isolated and, and disconnected from the design process. Today's process is fractured. We stop design in order to represent, we resume design with the feedback we get, and then we restart the cycle at the next project milestone. Um, but why? Well, with traditional rendering technology, it can take hours or sometimes even days to get out a high quality visualization. Correctly configuring textures and materials and lighting to achieve a realistic result is, it can be very difficult and it demands specialized know-how and even then can require a lot of trial and error. As a result, in many firms, rendering and 3D visualization is a task reserved for presentation or relegated to specialists or sometimes even subbed out completely. Real-time 3D is different. This next generation of visualization leverages new advances in graphics card technology, the same rendering technology that you'll find in today's high-end video games. And while the results are incredibly impressive, more importantly, the results are instant and very easy to achieve. It's this speed and simplicity that are the cornerstones of Enscape. Enscape truly is the easiest way to go from this to this. For us, ease of use and speed, it, it isn't jargon. These truths are derived from the fact that Enscape is a plugin. It's not a separate rendering program. And unlike under rendering tools, you don't have to exchange files or, or manually sync models. Enscape natively plugs into Revit and integrates into its interface and your Revit workflow. In many ways, Enscape is simply just another rendering mode, not a standalone program you need to learn. In fact, if you've ever added a light source or a texture in Revit, you already know how to use Enscape. The results are just easier, faster, and way more impressive. Let's take a look. After installing Enscape, you'll see a new Enscape ribbon in the Revit interface. To start, just go to the Enscape ribbon and click Start. Enscape will launch a new window. Any textures and lights that you set in Revit will be automatically picked up in Enscape. And using the WASD keys and the mouse, we can begin to immediately explore our projects in 3D. To find a specific view, use your saved 3D views in Revit to navigate, navigate around the model. Saved 3D views will not only change your view, but will also show any visibility settings that you've saved. Because Enscape and Revit are integrated, BIM and visualization are now simultaneous, not separate. You don't have to stop design to visualize. Now, visualization can be part of your design process. In fact, in many Enscape offices, you'll find Revit open on one monitor and Enscape open on the other. 
It allows architects to instantly see how their design decisions affect a building's architecture and construction and get to decision points faster. For example, in this Revit project, if we change this generic wall type to be a storefront curtain window wall, we can instantly see how that design decision affects the changes, affects the lighting in the room. We could even see how that lighting changes over the course of a day. To easily understand how much light is hitting our surfaces, Enscape can render a heat map so we can better understand where we may have too much or too little light. Better understanding the lighting helps us to validate our design decision, and we can immediately move on to explore other design elements like color, material, um, artificial lighting. For example, in this project, we can easily change the flooring material for marble to a dark wood plank to better accommodate the natural light now in the space. If we switch to a nighttime scene, we can see the light sources we placed and we can begin to tune the lighting, adding additional light sources and editing the artificial light settings. We can easily change the color of the lights and the intensity of the lights, or we can define a light's value by using an IES file. And because we're always working in Revit, our BIM model and our visualization model are always in sync. For example, if we insert a table and chair grouping from Enscape's asset library, you can see them display in Revit plan view and immediately in the rendered 3D view. And if you delete objects, they're deleted in both drawing and your visualization. With Enscape, a change everywhere is reflected everywhere. Streamlining communication is another huge advantage of real-time rendering in 3D. As designers, it gives you new ways to communicate to owners and others involved on the design and construction team. With Enscape, we can immerse stakeholders into our projects and walk them around even the most complex BIM models. Team members can get a feel for spaces. They can see how elements are going together and check the qualitative parts of our design. We can perform visual inspections with the team, catching errors that may be missed in plan review and investigating errors that are caught by clash detection programs. Here, for example, we can see that this window is not placed correctly in the BIM model. If we right click on the window, we can note the issue in Enscape's new BIM collaboration features. We can quickly define a state, a title, and a description for our issue. And once saved, that issue automatically becomes part of the project file and can be synced externally with other collaboration tools. But because Enscape and Revit are integrated, instead of commenting in Enscape, we can easily fix problems like these on the fly by simply updating the BIM model. And because not everyone we want to communicate with will have access to Enscape or the Revit model, we can easily share projects using Enscape's free viewer, or we can send them a link where they can navigate and view our projects from any browser running on any device. This is a great way to take your Enscape projects on site and into the field. Real-time 3D will also help you win more work. For some clients, the quality of your presentation is a direct reflection on the quality of your firm. Enscape will help elevate and distinguish your firm and set it apart from your competition by allowing your designs to be seen and experienced really like never before. For early stage design, when we don't want clients reacting to colors and materials, we can render scenes in one of Enscape's abstract rendering modes. Then, as we go through to the design process, we can gradually begin to layer in more information as needed. For a final presentation, we can add backgrounds, surrounding buildings, and other content and entourage, so clients and other stakeholders can clearly see how our designs will interact with the site and its surroundings. For marketing, we could export still renderings for presentation boards and our website. We can create uh, 360 degree panoramic scenes that clients can self navigate. And we can create stunning animations and virtual reality projects that really showcase our work. As Gemma said, I'd like to take a look at the new Enscape version 2.9 video as an example of what you can achieve with just some simple text flyouts. Uh, video cuts and some reverses.
um, that's a little overview of what you could do with Enscape's animation features. So with Enscape, anyone can plug real-time rendering and virtual reality into their existing Revit workflows. It, it really is connecting and synchronizing BIM and visualization. Enscape promises really to empower your design process. It will give you a better way to communicate your design intent, and ultimately it will help you win and deliver more projects than ever before. Um, I want to mention that if you'd like to try Enscape and experience real-time 3D for yourself, please visit our site, enscape3d.com, and you can download a, a free trial. So with that, I'd like to open it up to any questions. Brilliant. Thank you, Dan. Um, so Thank a few you. questions have been coming in about hardware requirements, if there's anything specific that people need in order to get started with Enscape. Uh, that, and yes, Enscape is dependent upon the hardware. Um, Enscape performs its rendering using the graphics card, the GPU. If your GPU and RAM are capable of handling Revit, for instance, then you probably have a, a capable GPU for, and, and, and machine for Enscape. Um, a good CPU can, could speed up Enscape load times, but, but the GPU is really where you, where you want to um, put your focus. Um, for a list of the hardware requirements, you can go to our website and we can actually, um, Gemma, maybe put that in the chat. Yeah, I've grabbed that link. So I'm just chatting that out to everyone now. So you can click on that and have a look at all the requirements there. Fantastic. Um, a question here about if we offer educational support. Yes, we do. We offer educational licenses. So if you're a student or if you teach in, um, teach uh, yeah, at universities or at school, then it is possible to get a free license. Um, once again, I can have a look to see if I can check that link out to you in a moment. And then just a little oh. side note, Gemma, I think we mm -hmm. broke um, over 100,000 students this month. So we have over 100,000 students worldwide using it. Okay. We did, yes, amazing number. Fantastic. Right, what is next? Let me have a look at the questions pane. Um, a few people are asking if it's possible to do virtual reality in Enscape. Um, absolutely. So virtual reality in Enscape is really just one click. Um, we recommend at least an NVIDIA GTX uh, 1080 graphics card with eight gigs of, gigs of RAM or better um, for a very smooth VR experiment, experiments. Um, Lex Complex projects could probably get by with fewer um, system requirements, but again, um, all of those system requirements will be on that uh, on that link that you chatted out. Brilliant, thank you very much. Um, we've well, got a comment here, not a question, but a comment from Conrad who said, I've been trialing Enscape for the past month. I'm also a student. Wow, what a fantastic tool. It's very addictive and so much can be done with one's renderings. Good to hear. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Good. Right. Let's see what other questions we have. Um, bum, bum, bum. Someone has asked if it's possible to download any sample files um, in order to try out Enscape. That's a really good question. Yeah. So to get people up and running quickly, um, you can download the uh, free trial and then you can also download a sample project that you can get up and running in immediately. So the, we have free sample files for Revit and, and the other CAD programs that we support. And Gemma, if you could share that link in the chat yeah. as well, that would also be very helpful. I will. Right, just grab that one. Excellent. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, Christina is asking, what is the best way to learn the software? Um, to get up and running quickly, we created a bunch of um, recently getting started videos. Um, those can be available from our website also um, under the how to learn section. Um, they're also on your YouTube page. So if you want to navigate to the YouTube page, there's a large number of tutorials that we've produced ourselves and that have also been um, produced by the Unscaped community, which is really nice. Um, you can find um, a lot of high level overview um, videos as well as really detailed how to video um, tutorials and to really dive into specific topics. So I encourage you to explore both of those resources. Fantastic, good, good. Right, we've had a question here. Is it possible to download the offline Enscape library? So I take it you're referring to the asset library and yes, it is possible. We've just made that available with Enscape 2.9. So if you, I think the best, best way is probably go to our YouTube channel. There's a recent webinar on, and Kai, one of our customer support team members, he actually shows and explains how you can, how you can do that. Um, let's see. Oh, is there an Enscape blog? Yes, there is. <laughs> and I'm responsible for it. So, oh, I love that question. Um, yes, we have a blog. It's full of um, customer 
case studies. It's full of top tips on how to get the most out of Enscape. So I would encourage you to take a look at that. You can access it via our website. Uh, what else do we have here? Where can I go if I have a question about Enscape? Um, yeah, that? first sure. of all, yeah. no, I mean, I, yeah, there's a number of um, places you can go for, for support. So firstly, we have the Enscape forum, which is a very active user community. So that's a great place to start. Um, this is also monitored by our customer support team. So um, it, if there's any questions that the community can't answer, they'll also chime in and, and help you. There's an extensive knowledge base where we provide very detailed explanations on how to do certain things in Enscape. The blog, as you mentioned, there's always good tips and tricks and blog articles. So I'd, I'd encourage anyone who's not subscribed to the blog all, um, already to please subscribe. That's a great resource. Um, and then the YouTube channel is also, I think, another really good resource. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, someone's asking, do we have our own model library? We do. We ship with um, about 2,000 assets. Um, but in version 2.9, one of the big features we announced was custom assets. And so you can easily expand our asset library by either modeling your own entourage um, programs like Blender, or you can um, leverage entourage from the website. So free3d.com, um, the, the 3D warehouse. Um, so that was a big improvement that we made in version 2.9, which is the ability to not only leverage the assets that we create, but also to develop your own custom assets. Fantastic, thank you very much. Um, we've had a comment here from Randy who said, this is truly the easiest software to learn and become <laughs> efficient in. Thank you. That's great to hear. <laughs> um, I think, like, so we have a few technical questions here. And for those, I will get back to you via email. I just want to check with our support team. So if we haven't answered your question today, please don't worry. I will get back to you in the next day or two with an answer on that. So I think that is everything that we've got. Yeah. So, that's all. Thank you, everybody. I, I think we'll leave it there. But um, thank, you, thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you, Dan, for help, helping to answer those. Um, so, yes, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you to everyone who, who attended, who got involved by submitting your questions. We will get back to you in the next day or two if we didn't get back to you. Um, just to mention that at the end of this webinar, our survey will pop up on your screen. So if you have a moment, we'd love to know what you thought of today's session. It also asks if you'd be interested in, in that Enscape free trial that Dan mentioned as well. So. If you are interested, just make sure that you fill that in. So with that, we'll wrap things up. Thank you for spending uh, the last few 20 minutes or so with us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Remember to visit the Enscape AU booth uh, <laughs> so you can see what other talks you can enjoy this week. Thank you very much, everybody.